Hey listeners, thank you so much for clicking on. I hope you enjoy this new episode of Wrap It Out. And here we appreciate you for supporting us and listening to all our episodes, including this one. So we appreciate you and enjoy the episode. Thank you very much. Perfect. Hi, everybody. I am back again. Um, isn't it weird? It's weird because I've said that in the past and I really need to change it up. But anyway, I'm here with Up Young and You and Continuously, we are progressing through this season four, and I've committed to give you all a global outreach. The theme of this season is giving you all more guests, more unique guests, and this one is definitely very exciting, and I'm so honored to have you with us, and, you know, y'all, I'm just so, thank you so much for joining me on this new episode. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited to get it going. Absolutely. And we have so much to get into. So many exciting things, some serious, some of the mix. We have so much to get into. Um, so first of all, I know just a couple of minutes ago, I asked about your name, uh, which is a good place to start because I and all of you who's listening, well, I'm a big sucker for names. I've got to name or me forever. So that's, you know, fair morning. I... I'm going to keep saying your name until I can nail it. <laughs> so, um, I just kind of want to know from you, what, what's in behind your, your artist? Sorry, can you repeat that? You kind of lagged. Oh, shit. This mic is something else. I was asking what was the inspiration behind your name and identity? My artist name, so I was honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I was just toying around with what sounds cool with what, you know, uh, I was just toying around and I heard, I came across Young and You and it sounded cool when I roll off the tongue. Uh, I kind of wanted to incorporate my name somewhere in there um, and my artist name to, you know, get people to recognize me easier, but it just sounded cool when I roll off the tongue and I stuck with it. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's one of those that you know, goes off the time, which obviously, yeah, it does. Like, you know, it Thanks. really does. It really does go off the time. <laughs> My creative juices were paying off then. <laughs> it really was. Um, like, y'all, if you say it three times, it really is a nice name. So, definitely prop to that. Um, into. We are getting to this music industry because for the past week I've been talking about all about the music industry because that's been an interest to me lately. It's just been like the state of the music industry. So I kind of wanted to get your insight because I know that you've been seeing, you know, all of this, what's been going on with like pop and rap and all the beats. So I kind of wanted to know from you, um, you know, and you could be as honest and political as you want. This podcast is your space. Um, what is your point of view on the music industry, and from your and from you, from your perspective, what do you think the the future of music could look like from where we are right now? Um, as far as like the rap game goes, it's been in like a bad spot and like an historically low since like twenty twenty. Um, as far as the music industry goes, I. I know I have my ups and downs with it. Um, it's been a bit like, uh, I don't know. Because like, the music industry has gone, like, it's changed so much in the last, like, decade or, t- like, 20 years. Like, long ago, when my, my, my parents were, like, my age, like, they actually, like, labels and all that, they actually developed their artists. Now it's not like that anymore. So, like, they just want, like, labels just want to have, like, people or artists that have like, a legit fan base already and then like feed off of that you know they want to see value in the artist already you know instead of developing them so i think that's a very pivotal part in the music industry game as far as like how it's built up i really think that um it's possible a lot more possible than people think um to like you know mix make a good career off of music um i think it's all just hard work and you know standing out making yourself unique marketing yourself 
Um, and that's what I think most of it is today is just marketing the way that, I mean, you see a lot of the top artists, you know, like I've seen videos of label executives say like, Oh, so-and-so ain't like the, like the best music person, but they, they, they have an audience, they have marketability, they have value to their name, you know, et cetera. So it's all about branding and, you know, business, more business-esque like to it nowadays. And, um, I, I see it as, you know, it's tricky, just some people, because there's a lot of people I know that don't know the music, the business aspect of the music game, and there's a lot to be learned there. And, um, you know, it's it's a lot more than you need than just talent and good music, you know? And um, I think if you learn all that and you keep learning from people, connecting, making connections wherever you're at, you could, it could go a long way for people more than you think. And um, I think that there's still hope um for the rap game to you know revive again you know considering the drake and kendrick beef that happened earlier um i think that really was good for the rap game and that's what they needed for like people to you know get interested in rap again you know come together you know collectively and uh you know, just like a love for the music again and i uh, and um as far as other genres go uh country's been killing it lately um country's really been taking off um pop is still here and there i feel like um it has its moments not as consistent as it used to be um that's about it um i i I know the i've always been into rock and like hard rock so that's always been like a personal favorite genre of mine um i love to see bands you know pop off again like they used to in like the early 2000s but um yeah that's that's pretty much my point of view the music game Interesting, interesting points, and I definitely agree with you. Um, first of all, on the band part, because I grew up with iconic bands. Um, let me tell you, I grew up on like Earth, Wind, Fire, The Police. Like, I grew up on like those bands. So I nice. I agree with you. I I would love to see bands like blow up again. Um, being that that's where music really started from was like a collection of people into instruments and i would i would definitely love that even you know even people just to like drop something you know Mm -hmm. something (laughs) and um yeah yeah and um i would say as far as like developing the artists um i agree with that too you know it's very hard to find artists who are honest with themselves and not just looking for just the the market as far as like their music like when you think about older artists and i've done this before and i encourage people to do it um like on spotify or like youtube music look at someone's discography and you can tell that they've been a very good developed artist because as you look at their discography and their album covers and their sound it'll slowly start to you'll start to see the evolution of an artist when you look at their whole discography and their whole history as far as you know making music and like people like dolly and Cher, when you see like their whole you know discography you can really see the history you know unfold and that shows that you know it wasn't just money you know they've truly developed as artists and really as people and that's what people really appreciate is just honesty nowadays you know something can be really bad and sell and that's what you're known for. And to into the public, that's okay. Which is... for me, I loved artists who could be honest with themselves with their music because the thing is, artists are just you know they're people like just like you and me who still have feelings, who are still going through a lot of you know going through a lot of shit. So you know, it's, they have feelings and they have they have their own life, you know. It would be it would touch it harder if we could be that portion of life, you know, in music and you know, hearing back more than just interviews and the news, you know, hearing back from you honestly about life. But you know, that's the world we live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I and I agree with you there too. Um, you know, it's there's a lot of pros and cons to it. Um, it sucks how you know media's control a lot of things nowadays and you know it's just how people adapt to it you just gotta you know go with what people want and 
that's what the people want nowadays. They want people to like, they want the rapper who is like a weird, you know, like unique look to themselves rather than better music. You know, they want to see someone say something that most people wouldn't want to do or say, you know, cause that's what stands out to people and that's what sells. So it's, it's all about how you sell yourself to the people nowadays. It's, it's weird, but that's just how it is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if it was me as an artist, and I've considered this too, if it was me, I do care more about money. I mean, money is an object, and I was asked before, like, like, I've been asked before, would you date, would you date somebody with, like, or would you date somebody with, you know, with lots of good character, but they're poor? Like, obviously, I have a choice because, like, you know, character and honestly means more than just an object that you can always get. You know, so mm-hmm. it's that, that's for me. Mm-hmm. Are you asking me that question? Oh no, I was just like saying, like, um, like a general question. Oh, okay. In fact, me. Uh, but I'm intrigued. I was, I'm kind of saying myself. What would you pick? Can you repeat that question again? You kind of broke out a bit. Uh, this mic is something else. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um. And I'm sure people, I'm sure you guys have asked because it's a it's an iconic dating question. Um, it's a nice conversation starter. People will ask, "Would you go out with somebody and be with somebody who lacks character and and who enrich, or someone who has a lot of character who's honest but they're poor?" Um, someone who has character and is poor, because I think, um, building character and, uh, you know, and your personality, I think is just as valuable, if not more than how much money you have. <laughs> um, I think that you could, I think that's like the money aspect. That's something someone could easily fix like quicker than people think. I think, um, plus if you have the character and you're ambitious, like you, you'll work hard to get that money, you know? So that's just how I see it. They look at us for twinsies because that's the same answer I got. See, see y'all, see nice. how we vibe like that. See? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. But seriously, um, I'm glad we have such good points of views, and I'm so glad that someone in the industry like gets it. <laughs> um, which most most of you small artists and people who have studied the industry, you do. It just feels good to hear it, you know. Just it just feels good to hear it. That, that hits me good. That hits me good there. Um, Hell yeah. But now I'm kind of I kind of want to. You know, I know we've got a little story about the name. I kind of want to know the whole journey overall with your music. So I want to know the entire origin story about your music. I want to know huh. the entire origin, all of it. All right, so. Where it all started was I was at my the end of my senior year of high school, so that was 2017, and um, I got off from my I just recovered from my first surgery, like my first knee surgery. I tore my ACL and playing football, and um, I recovered from that. And you know I couldn't I had to give up football now, like seriously at least. Um, so I decided, you know, I was bored. I was bored. I'm out from the desert where there's not much to do. I hang, I hung out with friends. We would like, we we just like bump YouTube beats in the car when we're hanging out and just like freestyle for fun. And we would always do it more and more. We hung out and I kept doing it every time. Like even like times when I'm just by myself, you know, I'm bored and not got nothing to do. That's what I'd be doing. And I just kept doing it, and it's been a growing passion of mine. It grew on me, and uh, when I went to college, I had a roommate. My roommate actually was uh, producing at the time. He had his own. He had FL and on his computer, and he produced some some beats, and I wrote on them. I practiced them. We practiced off of each other because he was brand new to producing too. And um, I took my whole four years of college to you know learn the basics and get to know how to write a song and organize it and storytell it. I um I didn't drop my first music since like twenty twenty one, like seriously of my own. I dropped my first four song EP, which is an underdog EP. Um 
I dropped out in like 2021 of April around there. And um, that was when I first said like, okay, I got something here. And that was when I, like by then I was already like committed to it. Um, I was writing and practicing on beats like every, every other day at least. Um, but yeah, I, that's how I basically started. Um, just, you know, kid in the desert, bored, nothing to do. Uh, venturing out to things that I originally wasn't really into, you know, like most of high school, I wasn't into music like that. I love music in general, but I wasn't into like making music like that. And, um, you know, I just, you know, trying something new, uh, when I had time to think about stuff like that, you know, I was sitting at home recovering, uh, from my surgery and got nothing else to do. And it came across my mind. I got some friends who were down with it and it was all fun and games from there. That it hit me too because like that's how I got my show started. So as you were talking, I was like, "Oh yeah, that's exactly me." Ah, <laughs> so I was like uh, thinking like I was thinking like, "Oh my god," we're, we're almost like the same person because I was literally like that. Except I didn't do football, although I've been asked a million times since I was in sixth grade to do football. And so, huh. <laughs> hey, but, there you go. Which, y'all, I could play, because I could play, because I never play a little. I just, I don't know. I've seen people do it. I don't know. I don't know if I could do all that. <laughs> uh, um, fair enough. I think, I think I'd rather just be the nerd kid who has a podcast and who sings, so I'm going to just stick with that. Nice. Hey, but, um, that's awesome, man. Um, and you did it out of boredom, and you explored something, and you got you got to you got to bring out something that you didn't know you had, and you know that's that's major considering you got over a thousand on Instagram, and now you got this you know great following. You got a lot going for you, so for that I applaud you. I can't, you Thank can't you, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely oh. a definitely a big turning point uh, in my life because you know football at the time for me was like one of my only escapes. And now music's been that, like, escape from me for ever since I graduated college. Um, but, yeah, it was really interesting to see, like, the creative. I never knew I had a creative aspect in me. And, you know, that's something that my family um, line doesn't really have or show as much. Um, so it kind of, like, says a lot about my uh, me being open to new ideas as such. And for me to be able to take it where I am now is, um, I think, is a... Uh, a good achievement that I'm proud of. Uh, and you really, you know, and I was pretty brave, you know, of, of course what happened to you with surgery, you know, being brave and trying something new that's crazy, crazier than football, and you, you know, definitely trying something out and, you know, just being out there, I mean, that takes a lot of guts to do, so... Thank you. Absolutely. And tell them about your voice and seeing socials. I definitely see you as a football player. If I didn't know you were a football player, I'd be like, yeah, he's probably done it before. Like, you're like one <laughs> of those people. Like, like I can I can tell that you probably did. If if I didn't know. <laughs> you said just from my voice? Yeah, you know, from your voice, you know, socials. If I didn't know that you were, um, I would have probably guessed, like, he probably was, like, an athlete. Like, some artists are like that, where, like, you could probably tell, like, they probably do, like, uh, like a side hustle or something. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I get I you. Know, like, like, like one of those, which, which is a good thing, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. And, um, I got really excited when I found this out. And mind you, I took, um, I was really studying. I was studying. I was studying you, which, don't worry, I'm not stalking. I'm not a stalker. I'm really <laughs> studying. It's all good. Um, I just want to remind people, I am not a stalker. I did not stalk his, his, his socials. I don't do that. I merely study and take notes. I have a notebook and all your big things that you're doing. So, they're just, just like all the public know that that's what I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, but I found out too, that you have a podcast as well, um, which was really cool. So um, I kind of want to get uh, a nice segue into that because um, that's kind of that's uh, my job. <laughs> Not playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I digress though. Um, so this podcast of yours is called uh, End Zone MCs. MCs. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So um, End Zone MCs is a sports and hip hop podcast. I started with a friend of mine. Shout out Hamilton James. Um, yeah, that's uh, we talk about you know foot news in the NFL football and the hip hop music realm. Um, we basically we talked a lot about the Kendrick and Drake beef when it was happening in hot. We uh, talk a lot about, you know, what we like as far as uh, certain teams and players that week by week when the season goes. Um, we had a big Super Bowl episode going on. And um, yeah, we just talk about that. And we also talk about, you know, um, our journeys as artists as well and what we've done. See, my, my friend Hamilton, he has a... Um, he has an artist networking uh, thing going on for him too for a while. He hosts concerts and events as well. And um, Valley on a Wave is the name of it. And, you know, he I, I've performed at some of his concerts. We performed together at some concerts. And, um, yeah, we talk about our journeys as artists and, you know, um, the connections we made, the insights that we share with the audience, the stuff that we learn from each other. You know, it's cool. You know, um, Hamilton, first of all, is a homie. So I... I learned a lot from that guy and, and got influence from him a lot too. Um, we just build off of each other and feed off of each other's energy. Um, it's really great that we got that going and um, got a lot more people um, started to join in too. We just had our first artist interview like a couple weeks ago and um, posted that on our YouTube. Uh, been having a lot more guest artists or guest people um, coming in on, on episodes. So um can't wait to the football season get started and uh, get started on uh, season two of it. Wow, wow. Okay. Sports and hip hop. Okay. Well, look at you go. Um, which congrats <laughs> on having Thank you. a show. Um, and you just recently did your first interview. So tell me, you know, what was that, what was that experience like? Because I remember my very first interview that I ever had um, years ago. So tell me from you, how did it feel like, you know, to be in that space of asking the questions and studying the person and, you know, getting out of that comfort zone and like being the host, like, you know, <laughs> what was that like? Oh, uh, it was cool. I mean, being hosting has honestly uh, become another passion of mine as of late this last year. Um, I'll get more into that later, but it was cool, you know, doing, asking all the questions. And I studied a little bit on the artist as well, as far as her like main interests. And I've tuned into her other podcasts and see what she's talked about. Um, so I kind of build it off of that. And um, she's also a, a, a close friend of mine that I've made last like half a year um, from mutual friends. So uh, I'm still, you know, relatively getting to know the person, but it was cool. Um, I, I formulated a good amount, a handful of uh, questions that I wanted to genuinely know about her and her journey and what her takes are as far as her process, et cetera. Um, I thought I did a good job of, you know, transitioning into uh, the questions based on the answers that she gave me as well as far as follow-ups. Um, my guy Hamilton did a good job of that as well. And, um, yeah, I, 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 I've been liking hosting a lot as far as interviews, music events, what have you. Um, like I said, it's become another passion of mine I've built up recently and uh, can't wait to get more into it. Oh, that is so sweet and I support it. I'm very excited for you. And, you know, I haven't gotten to check out the show, which, um, which, <laughs> funny, now that I, now I met you, I'm, I'm going to have to now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Appreciate it. Of course. And um, definitely as I'm talking to you, mature and honest and very loud and you know voice <laughs> you know you definitely have that voice of the host which you <laughs> know again and those if i didn't know you had one i could guess that you that you've been podcasting which <laughs> you have the persona to have one you know and, and when i and when i looked and you had one i was like okay okay this makes a lot of sense you know 
he has <laughs> he has like a perfect vibe for it, you know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um. Again, that is really exciting, and that hits me good because podcasting means a lot to me, and I always love having people who also do. That's awesome. Speaking of um, awesome. I kind of want to get into a segue because guests, um, listeners, this guy keeps getting cooler and cooler because here's another thing I also found out. Um, you also are co host of a collective, which I'm, which I'm sure you've been excited to talk about because, you know, <laughs> it looks like to be a really successful collective. Um, really? Really great, um, and I know you've been like looking forward to like talking about it. I'm sure you know mm-hmm. you got plenty to talk about, and it's called uh, the Creative Collective. And this is cool because you put LLC, like y'all are official. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to know um, the whole backstory behind you know that collective. You know, being that I know you're a co-host of it, but still, you know, like what's the whole backstory behind you know this whole collective and this you know initiative to to bring artists together you know networking and promoting so the backstory behind it is um me and my other co my business partner david shout out david medina um he uh and i went on this trip to vegas where they hold this wealth con event at the mirage i think it was at um so we went there for it was like a few days like seminar to have they had like uh, motivational speakers and entrepreneurs and um people successful people with their brands and business people people talk about social media growing and stuff like that um talk to us about you know um taking advantage of any opportunity that comes to you uh you know what attitudes you need to have if you want to be like a successful business guy they were also more real estate um, themed. Like there's a lot of real estate people there too. So there's more teaching on that aspect. Um, but we still got great insight and motivation that whole weekend. We made a handful of good connections and, um, you know, we decided our uh, more, more of my, more so my business partner decided that we should do like an artist networking brand where we help people showcase their talents and, try to help their stage presence um, more on the stage when they're performing or expressing themselves with the music, et cetera. Uh, we're trying to get them to network and do a good job in networking skills as well. Um, we want to emphasize those things at our music events. Uh, we've been holding a lot of open mics lately uh, at this one venue at the Guitar Merchant out in West Hills. Shout out the Guitar Merchant. Um, we've been holding a lot of events right there where we have people try to network with each other and you know showcase their talents and you know just support in any way even if you're not a creative anyone's welcome um you know people who just support uh certain someone that they're showing up for they love everyone else that they're seeing on the stage and we love to see that that's puts a happy face on our faces and um yeah and it's just the beginning we started our page like um october of last year and we started our first event on like the end of december of last year so we're roughly at like our six month like mark in our business. And um you mentioned that we made the an LLC. That was actually a recent thing we did like a few months ago, um, with the state of California. So we wanted to get the name at the very least, but uh we're gonna get all that paperwork done and everything else that we need to get done as far as documentation. Uh right it was like cause our biggest goal is to get our, our uh building so we can host our own events. We want to have a spot where you can film music videos and have a studio there. We have engineers and videographers we could go to as well. Um, We've built up a lot of connections as far as growing as an artist for ourselves as well, Uh, not just for other people. But we do want to emphasize putting the other people on, you know, who are just starting. That's mostly like our uh, crowd is people who are just starting, you know, getting to learn the basics of growing as an artist. Um, a lot of friends, uh, in that circle as well. Got a great community growing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it started and what the purpose is to promote people and express themselves and 
the creative ways that they want to be and be confident, you know, um, both, both those things that we want to emphasize, it's all about confidence. You know, you want to try to go be confident when you're networking with a stranger, you know, uh, you want to be confident when you're, um, developing your stage presence, you know, expressing the emotions behind the songs that you're performing on in front of strangers, you know? So, uh, it's all in due time. Um, but we're still in the beginning phases. Uh, creative collective has definitely uh, been another turning point in my life because I'm using my business aspect of myself, uh, to my advantage and, you know, helping others learn. And that really makes my day. Uh, I can't really tell you how happy. And I was gonna, I was gonna ask, which obviously you answered that question. I was gonna ask, which I saw you and I saw you and David, and I was thinking, like, first of all, y'all look very similar. I don't know if you people have told you that, but <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. <laughs> you do. So I thought you were siblings, and then I thought you were. Um, I'm not gonna say it in front of people. Um. But I thought you were like um, consolidating. Now I know y'all are business partners, so um, that helped me. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that answered my question. So that's really great. Um, but y'all look really happy doing this. And let me just say how much how much it really means to touch lives. Um, you know, artist wise and networking. Like you know, I don't like, however, that y'all took my job. <laughs> kidding um see how they took my job y'all i'm <laughs> sorry about it <laughs> oh <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Tab, i appreciate you though that means a lot of course of course and and thank you thing on networking so anybody who's willing to do that you know and who enjoys it i am all for it. I'm putting out there anything I can do for the collective, you know, anything at all, you know, I'm a text message away. Like, I'm totally all for it. So, you know, again, no. congrats on the collective and uh, good to know y'all are business partners and not anything else. So, that really helped me. Mm-hmm. You know, put things together. Okay. So, y'all, I mean, People listening, y'all need to check out the collective, you know, which of course I'll put a link down below to check out the collective and all that they got going on. So definitely get excited. Um and I kinda wanted to get into something serious, and of course you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I just figured that I kinda wanted to ask about it because you had mentioned it. Um so Right now, you're doing some recovering um, from knee surgeries that you told me when you were scheduling. You, you let me know that you're recovering, which um, I kind of wanted to see how is that going. Um, of course, don't worry. I'm not going to ask you like like how the knee thing happened. I'm not going to get into those specifics. I just wanted to I just wanted to mainly check in with you, you know, just to see how things are going with that. You know, health wise, you know, everything okay? Just like a health update. Of some sorts, let's just say, like health update. Yeah, so um, I'm doing good. By the way, I appreciate you asking. Uh, I'm like about a month in from after my surgery happened. I had it like the beginning of May, um, so actually, it just passed the one month mark today. Um, but you know, it's it's getting better uh, slowly every day. It's a really slow process, but you know, I'm in the process of uh, getting all my muscle back in my leg um and around my knee uh you know it's i'm not able to walk obviously but um i'm able to you know like i have to put on a brace and use crutches to get around and um you know it's fun i mean it's kind of boring honestly just because like i'm not able to do much and you know i've just been reading working on music you know watching some shows um i've been watching the nba finals that started yesterday um i got a you know my podcast all that stuff so keep me company um, but I'm, I'm doing okay though. I'm, I got, I think it's gonna, I think I'm gonna recover quicker than people think. And, um, I'm excited, you know, for that time to approach. That's great. That's great. Um, I'm really happy for you. I'm very, very happy that you're, you know, recovering very well. And that's great that you decided to hop on my show on, you know, the month hit, you know, from surgery. That's awesome. That's, 
that's pretty good for me. Um, but anyway, when you had mentioned that, I was like, I was like, I, I just wanted to see how you're doing, and you know, I was gonna text you back. Um, but as you as people know, I got a million things to do every day, so I was like, hmm. you know what, I'm gonna just wait. And, I'm gonna just wait until I meet him and just pop it, pop the question. <laughs> mm-hmm. Understand. Well, I appreciate it either way. Thank you. Of course, absolutely. You know, health is a huge thing for me. You know, um, like I had to step back from my show for a couple months um, because of mental health. So now health is a huge thing. You know, whether it's physical, Mm. mental, any kind, huge thing for for all of us. Mm. But anyway, um, (laughs) that's really great to hear. So that's a really great health update. And I got some, you know, bits, you know, you know, the other parts that you love, you know, the NFL and sports and, you know, podcast music, you know, is there any interest in like, hello? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, did my mic go out again? I do. I'm, my connection's not the greatest either, so it's probably that. But could you repeat like what you just said again? Okay. Well, I was just asking about what other things interest you because you know we we know you're into the NFL and you know sports and podcasting and music. Um, I just kind of wanted to see uh, if, if any other interests you know that that you have. Um. Yeah. So um, I love traveling. Um, that's one thing I cannot wait to do when I'm like healthy again is to travel. I have a bunch of friends that are always wanting to like, Oh, let's go here. Let's go to Alaska. Let's go there. You know, like, I'm like, Oh my God, we will one day. I, I cannot wait. Um, so traveling is definitely one thing I love to do. Um, I definitely want to, I'm going to do more of that. Um, I love, I've always loved bowling. Um, that's one like outside sport I've always liked doing, um, besides football. Um, I'm a competitive person, so I, it's easy for me to like get into any game or anything. Um, competitive. Um, love spending. I'm an outdoors person too, so I'm usually always outdoors when it's like, especially good weather or anything. Um, I love roller coasters. I love roller coasters. That's one thing I can't wait to do when I'm healthy too. Um, been wanting to do that a lot. Haven't done it in a while. And, um, oh, that's about it. And I, I, I love spending time with family and friends. I mean, people are keeping me, that keep, I keep in my circle. They're fun people. So those good times around those people. Oh, look at you. Okay. Wow. So you look like a really deep person. God, I wish you, I wish we were in the same state. Cause I like, I would want to hang out with you. Like, that's awesome. I I miss bowling too. I gotta go back and do it. I just haven't been able to just because of my life. But I want to go back because I used to be like really good at it. Like, but now I'm just now I just got this new bowling app on my phone, and it's just not the same as like going in and having a ball and like having the joy of having having a strike. Like I miss that. Yeah, for real. Like, you know, but I definitely have got to go back. But that's really great. And, you know, you know, traveling is also a huge plus, you know. And it's even better now that, you know, COVID's out and, you know, people are doing it again. You know, I'm really excited. Oh. Hopefully you'll you'll snap a few pictures of your, you know, sites, you know, so that, you know, I can be like, damn, I interviewed him and now he's all the way. That could have really good <laughs> for me, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah! Like, I got you. I got you. Because <laughs> I want to see it. Like you know, it's not the same. You know, looking up on Instagram and just like looking at the tags because people fake it. I want to see the actual thing, actual picture of you and ha- you having fun, and um, all that. Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah! It'll happen. It'll happen. So oh, cool. Um. So I kind of wanted to also ask about your fan base because um, having a thousand followers is not easy to do. So that means you have a fan base. So um, 
I kind of want to know because I'm sure your fan base is listening. Is there something to that your fan base does not know about? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, something that my fan base does not know about me. Um, uh, hmm. I'm have to think about it real quick. Um. I love learning. Um, I really like learning new things, and um, you know, I'm. Um, I, I you ever go down like um, like Wikipedia and go to those rabbit holes down Wikipedia, where like, oh, you look up one thing, and then oh, this leads to another, and then that, and then that. Oh my it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 would happen to me a lot. So because I'm just like, I'm. A, I, I love like learning things, and um, you know, being able to know like, oh, what happened here, and what caused that to happen, et cetera. So, um, you know, I did that a lot with like sports and, you know, historic moments sometimes. And yeah, uh, I think uh, learning is definitely something that um, people don't really know about me as much compared to other things. Um, I think it's very underrated. And um, I, I, I think there's limited things you could just, just know about and that you'll know where you're going to get from it. And um, I think that's the real beauty in educating yourself and staying motivated to being open to new things, you know, like, for example, like my music thing, like I learned all that and freaking I learned like the basics in like four years and like I'm still learning stuff, you know, so um, it's still a long journey. But um, yeah, it's pretty much learning uh, something I, my family doesn't really know about me, I'd say. Okay. Well, let me just tell you for rabbit holes. Um, I do it mostly with artists. Like, I'll look up a profile about them. I'll read it, and then they'll have something you know, like a subtopic about them, and I'll just like keep going until Wikipedia gives me a blank page. Like that's how invested I I can be. I relate <laughs> on that. Yeah. And um, let's see learning because let me tell you gen alpha will not learn anything like let me tell you these kids that are in schools and i have proof because i actually went and visited a school and like tutored um these kids will not learn they will not read they they're not into learning you know like back when i was their age i was i was a sucker for a their father who was watching pbs kids and brain pop and you know, binge watching YouTube, um, like that was me. <laughs> Brain <laughs> pop. I, I, like, I, no. Yeah, like, that's that's funny. I, I remember Brain Pop in class. That was, <laughs> that was a that was a legit learning right there. But that's that's cool though. That's good for you. It's definitely good to do. Oh, absolutely, and. I was just like looking at Brain Pop at their 25th anniversary thing, and I also saw their prank Whoa. they did, um, where they told Moby, uh, where they t- turned this color silver, and I was like, "Oh no, that better not be permanent because uh, this color is iconic." So the other thing was just a prank, and then at the end of the video, they were like, they were like blinded by like the brightness, and they were like, "Uh, yeah, Moby, we're gonna bring you back the color." I was like, <laughs> "Like that shit mm-hmm. cracked me up." I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, okay. But I miss it. Um like I loved it. I'm loved I loved Moby with a girl and I loved him with Tim, you know, it's iconic. Um to go back and like watch episodes just to, like because back then was so exciting to do. Like it got me excited into like in class. I think it was like two in the afternoon and I was like almost dead. It got me to wake up. It was like it was that good. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> it was one of those. I digress. Um, you know, it's always good, you know, learning. You can never you can, like it's so unlimited when it comes to learning stuff. Like I feel like mm-hmm. you can never run out of things to learn because like the world is so evolving and like new stuff gets invented like every day. So, you know, like Absolutely. That's really I agree. Like, that's really a world now where you can just, like, really pick on any skill, like, anytime you want to. 
That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's incredible. Um, and then this is a nice segue. I kind of wanted to touch base on the music scene, um, which you do. You did release music. According to your Instagram bio, you had put out a song called Bicycle. Um, and, you know, of course, it was not that long ago that you put out songs. So I have to know from you, um, you know, because because you had experience, you know, putting out a song. What is your process, you know, when it comes to, you know, from the writing to the production to, like, putting out music? You know, what is your way about, you know, doing that? Um, so, you know, it varies sometimes. Sometimes I'll, like, freestyle, like, very rarely. And then I'll start writing stuff down. Like, I always write stuff down in my notes. But, um, as far as, like, getting on a new beat, I usually just, like, come to, like, I usually think of whatever comes to mind, what I'm feeling from the beat. And, um, I build it off of that. I tell a story about what I'm talking about. I transition, like, every, I try to transition every, like, four bars, you know, um, to get the story going. But, um, that's just me. Um, there's a lot of times where I'll like type something, I'll type like eight bars and I'll like delete all of it and rewrite it just cause I'm not, it doesn't really sound right to me as far as like, whether it's like what I'm talking about or the flows or the cadence, whatever. Um, I take my time on that. And, uh, once I have all that written, um, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, once I have all that written, I'll record on my laptop. I usually record in my bedroom under, uh, and I just cover myself with a blanket and, um, I record all my stuff on my laptop. And then once I have all that done, how I want to sound, I send all my stems to my, uh, my engineer for him to mix and master, make, uh, put in effects somewhere, certain, de- certain areas. And then, um, yeah, that, and then I got a song. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then, um, I'll go to the studio here and there, uh, you know, when I'm, like, out in the area or, like, if someone gives me a good deal on it or if I'm meeting, like, a homie there or something who wants to cook, sure. Um, I try to save money on, like, you know, just using my own equipment here because it's so much more convenient. Um, But, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And then there have been times where I've made songs on the spot in the studio for, like, an hour and, boom, I have a song. Um, So, you know, it varies. Uh, depend definitely depends on like how I'm feeling, what my mood is, like what my mental state is, you know, and my my creative like mindset like active right now, you know. So it it all depends on like where I'm at in the moment. Mm, okay, okay, very fair process. Um, I think it's cool that you start with freestyling. Um, I heard a billion different ways people do it. Sometimes people start with a B. Like people just write something, just like writing something until something happens. Unless people just go outside and get inspiration, you know. So definitely a cool process. And um, you know, I just kinda wanna get your intake on it. Now I kinda um this is a good way to kind of ask about something that and this cracked me up. I was jamming out some music earlier and as I was looking, I saw this. Um and this was a couple hours ago when I was looking through a profile to study. I saw this post, and I know you know what it is because I gotta ask about it. This and this post um, of you, and I'm trying to see if I um point of view, innocent guy. I was just kind of, <laughs> I was kind of wanted to just like um, just to just to ask about it because. Uh, if I see like, <laughs> um, because <I> see <laughs> you are basically you are with this black woman who's in the um, like this woman like her breast is like on you. She's twerking like in front of you. Like um, like I was just gonna ask like, um, what's going on there? What's going on there, friend? Um, <laughs> you know what's going on there? Um, you know, it's just me being a rapper. That's what's going on. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, the the those clips I used, um, they were from uh music video scenes. Um, both of the, those different like scenarios I was filming music videos for, and um, 
you know, I just um, got a couple of homies that, you know, have the connects. Um, and I use it to my advantage. I, uh, you know, just being a rapper. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Art. that's pretty much it. I, um, you know, filming content in, out in public, you know, at my homie's pad and uh, just doing our thing, having fun with it. Not being an okay. innocent guy, that's for sure. <laughs> Let me just say that I was like, oh my god, it was hilarious. Because, um, and it's okay, this is our space. If she's your girlfriend, I mean, she's got a big ass, you know, so if she is, y- you can be honest. I'm on oh, she's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Neither of them are. I'm, I'm just making sure I just ask, you know, because if she is, that's cool, you know. I can see her for you. I'm just. <laughs> but you look like a, you look like you having some fun there, like like okay. Um, <laughs> it was fun. He's really jamming. He's really jamming. Okay, <laughs> not too shabby. Okay, I was <laughs> like, <laughs> like you kind of want to make me join the fun. I was like, damn, I want to go twerking on me. Like I want to. <laughs> Come on, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm going to get back to seriousness, though. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get back to seriousness. Um, mm-hmm. So, and this is kind of like a good question to ask, too. So, how do you balance having a personal life to having this, having, you know, a professional business life? You know, like, how do you balance it? And what's, like, the hardest and easiest thing, you know, that you've, you know, you know, been through? Can you repeat that one more time, please? Oh, God. Okay. Um, so I was asking, like, how do you maintain the balance between having a personal and a professional you know, life? Oh, okay. So I... Basically, it's try- I usually put like um, most of my business esque personality like on my social media aspect of myself. Um, you know, I don't really. I just try not to. You know, um, I-, I still like to have fun. You know, everyone likes to. Um, but you know, I-, I try not to put a camera in front of everything. Uh, you know, I I know that's like a lot of what a lot of people do these days, and I try to not get into that habit. I try to like more, I'm more of like living in the moment type of person. If I'm at a a baseball game or, you know, a concert, I'm more just paying attention to myself rather than like recording shit. That's just a person. That's just personally what I like to do. Um, But um, as far as like keeping my business like self um, in shape, you know, um, whenever I'm like out in public or meeting people like acquaintances or mutual friends, you know, I, I always like, or like when I'm working, obviously, or, um, I always try to, you know, um, if they're interested, you know, they're talking to me about certain issues they're having, or, you know, I try to um, use my business like self to help me persuade or influence others into my way of thinking. So like, I just read this one book where it's like, how to win friends and influence other people. Um, you know, it basically just talks about, you know, you just how to be friendly. You know, um, be genuinely interested in the people, you know, um, avoid conflict in when you can, um, you know, just admit that you're wrong when you're, when you are, if you ever come across it, et cetera. Uh, you know, just be more of a credible person. And, um, you know, I, I, I get a lot, I, I've had some people ask me, um, how do you keep that, like both those aspects of yourself, you know, together and safe, you know, and, um, I always tell them. I just, I don't really care, you know, I, I, I do care, but like, I don't, I'm not that serious about it, if that makes sense, like, like, I love to have fun, like I just said, and like, I don't let my business self get in the way of, you know, stuff I want to do, you know, like, my music stuff, for, for instance, I like to go to, you know, go to party here and there, I like to, I, I'm an, I'm an extrovert, and, you know, I'm, I'm a communicative person, um, you know, and that shows off in my personality. And, 
you know, I, I obviously stay out of trouble and, you know, don't cause issues and all that stuff, you know, so I just like being nice to people and um, being nice to people goes well with my, my business aspect of myself. And, you know, I think that's gone a long ways for me personality wise as well. And um, I've made a bunch of good friends and connections and memories out of it. And I look forward to continuing it the way it's treated me. Oh, awesome. Well, I definitely appreciate, you know, the fact that you were able to find a balance and that, you know, you're able to, you know, be able to have a professional business, you know, in life. And that's really awesome because people, it's it's very hard to do, you know. So much happens and you never really know. Um, so, you know, I really, I appreciate that. And, you know, again, I applaud you on it. Um, very, very serious and very mature, although trouble, oh, that post says that, that you're doing something. Um, like, I was going to, like, I was going to say, like, trouble, hmm, that post says something else. <laughs> huh. Makes sense. Right. I was going to say, like, No, that post does something now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, it's like I said earlier, it's how you sell yourself to the people and it's all about marketability. That's gonna cre- that's gonna grab attention. <laughs> so I use that to my advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, I just kinda I also wanted to ask you this too. And you know, I kind of like to remind people that it's June, and it has been six months in the year. Um, you know, like, it's crazy to think, like, it's been six months that the year's been in. I feel like just yesterday, I was out. I was outside bringing in the new year. I, I feel like it hasn't been that long ago, but it really has been. It's been so imagine. Um, so I kind of want to you. What does the rest of the year look like for you? Uh, for me, it's mostly recovering, um, you know, and also keeping my business afloat and getting coordinating things as far as events we got going on later on in the year. Um, you know, I'm still um, mainly just focusing on recovering, getting into good shape, not rushing it. Um, I'm looking forward to the football season starting in the fall in September. Um, it's one I usually always look forward to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got, what I got looking like to me. I want to, um, try to build on, you know, trying to move out of town, uh, by next year. And, uh, what's up? What's up, Keem? How you doing, bro? Oh, thank you. I'm <laughs> what is this? Good. Uh, it's just an interview I got going on right now, if you want to listen, but I appreciate you tuning in, bro. So I'd invite you. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to meet myself. But um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I basically want to try to move out next year around L.A. Oh, you know, it's because that's where my business partner is. It's where all my friends are at. That's where I like most of my stuff for my business goes on. Um, You know, I'm, I'm with, all the people I work on with music are more out there. So, you know, it's just the place I got to be. So those are pretty much what it's looking like for the rest of the year for me. Well, look at you. You got a pretty busy year. Um pretty busy rest of the year um i am really excited for you and so many things are happening for you this this is huge and then the part that i've been going was moving to la um that's very you know um i know some of my friends are going to college there so um no it's an amazing opportunity and i'm looking forward to see what you're doing over there um again i need like I'm gonna need pick. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to see what you're doing over there because after that post, I'm just. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. Uh, I'm joking. But sick. It's very exciting, and you got a lot going for you. So I wish nothing but the best for all of these new, all of these endeavors, and you know your business, your music, all of it. I I wish you the best for it, and you know. 
it's exciting to hear back, you know, for me, it's exciting to hear back about all these things you're about to get into, you know, so again, so excited for you. Hey, thank you. And you can always come, come on down, join the phone whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have people ask me, go down to LA, um, you know, one day I'm just like pop by, um, because California, that was the, that's the state that I never thought I'd go to, considering how busy it can be. But now I actually have a reason just, like, to go there and keep an eye on you. Kidding. Um, yeah. And, <laughs> and see what it's all about. Um, and I also wanted to ask, since you said you, gra- you, said you graduated from college, what college? Uh, CSU Channel Islands. Wow. Okay. And uh, I I don't know why I'm asking about school. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. Um. Okay. Cool. And um, did you go there? Flick was music developed while in college or like after? Like, what did you do in college? Uh, so I was basically studying uh, to get my business degree. Um, I did work on music all throughout college. You know, just to learn the basics and. You know, with my roommate helping me with the, uh, providing beats, he helped me provide insight as far as, like, what I should do, like, what sounded right and this and that. Um, more of, like, the songwriting aspect I wanted to perfect while I was there because uh, that was more of what I was into as far as music goes. Um, but, yeah, that's basically what I got going uh, music-wise in college as well. Like, that's basically where all like, I molded myself into – what I do nowadays, like trying to get familiar with like the processes, you know, so. Oh, okay. Okay. I just figured I'd ask because, um, I wanted to ask earlier, but I got carried away. I kind of wanted to just see, but that is awesome. Well, I got the degree. Um, I've heard business is like one of the hardest degrees in the world. So, um, at least that's what I've heard from, like, these top universities. Everybody goes for business, but it is tough to do. So, I applaud you on Um, and I just wanted to, like, tell you from me how much it means to me that you took time from your recovery process of your day to be on here to, you know, to do this. I appreciate you. It's been such an honor to meet you, and to learn all this stuff about you, you know, and I'm very excited for what the rest of the year holds for you and all your endeavors. So I just wanted to just thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being on my season four. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out and, you know, getting me into this in the first place. It means a lot. Oh, uh, absolutely. And I want to thank Instagram for the ability to message people. Love you. <laughs> uh. For real. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Hopefully we can hang out someday too. Oh uh, yes, definitely, definitely. Um I'm I'm hoping you'll keep in touch with me because some guests will just like basically say fuck me. I'm just kidding. They they, they don't say that. Like, <laughs> I've never had a guest say like, fuck you. But they'll be <laughs> like I can be like I can tell like they're they're being like fuck you. He's just like a post. So hopefully hopefully you'll still like keep me in the loop of your life. Hopefully you won't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I promise. Oh, Pinky, not playing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Okay. Um, and to all of you listening, thank you so much for listening in. I hope you guys had an amazing time listening, and you know all about about young in you and. We want to wish you well on all of your business endeavors and all the exciting things that's about to happen to you and your recovering journey. Um, so to end on a good note, um, creative, collective, make sure you guys reach into that. And if you ever need networking and promoting, I'm a big sucker for it. Check it out and uh, get in touch with them. Um, end zone MCs podcast is out on it on platforms i'll also put a link down uh in the description for you know for checking that out um i have mentioned bicycle but all of his music can be found on his social so definitely get into that and speaking of music 
after this plays out, you'll all get a chance to hear some tunes from the musician himself. So y'all get a taste of what he's like, you know, what his music is like, what he's like um, in that role, in that seat. So get excited for that. And of course, thank you always for listening and for, you know, checking this episode out. And again, you know, say, you know, this season is very exciting. We got lots more on the way and we're not not stopping anytime soon. So I will leave you on on this good note. And, um, you know, I hope you all are doing well. And of course, I always check up on you guys. So health is a huge thing. If anything happens, I'm always here for you. I'm a text message away. So I just want to say that. Um, But enjoy the rest of your day. Or because time zones fucking suck at night, too. Um, enjoy yourselves and enjoy the rest of the season. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight as we dove into a wonderful podcast episode. Now, in this following segment, you will get a chance to hear this artist to showcase because every artist that comes on the show requires to do a showcase. So buckle up, get some popcorn, and enjoy the showcase. I hope you guys love it and check out the artist when you get a chance to. Hope you guys love it. Enjoy. on the way woke up and we got another versus strangulation running on the track as if i'm going straight away let me grab it. opportunity i can take make it happen yeah. never underestimate the odds you gotta leave them be prove it to yourself and never trade your vision for approval see lebro he ballin' with the same name he a mini me wish i met my uncle ryan and work on music rest in peace cook up in orlando is that magic Flipping shit like burgers, it's a habit Coming for the top of the mountain Riding solo, forget the past tense no. Keep it going, go. never know where you'll get you never know. Gotta chase what you want, just stick to the plan man. I'm coming a long way from minimum wages hey, Up in the lab, I cook the sun like a filet Got more drops and songs coming on the way They hit my phone, tell me how much I'm motivated Gotta go, get this dub, yeah today uh. This a marathon, not a race, so I'm not walking it Spending my whole college career just trying to make a song Could've been the girl for me when I was going out for once You gotta leave that stuff in the past, you overthinking it Riding solo, forget the past tense Keep it going, go. never know where you'll get Chase what you want, just stick to the plan man. I'm coming a long way from minimum wages Whoa. Squad looking all so lit Mobbing in what you call it Angel is on my feet Calling it J.R. Smith Cause I lost track of the time Go, go, let's go Go, 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 let's go Go, 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 let's go Jump, go crazy Hey, mobbing
Driving in the late night, hoping that girl I met gon' be alright. No shade on your boy like a sunburn. No class, but there's things that I did learn. Too late, I hope that you realize. Can't go both ways, gotta pick sides. Order main entrees with a few sides. I behave the way I do, man, and here's why. I don't got time to argue with this money on my mind. Gotta treat them kindly, play the game mean, that's how I was raised. Yeah, I will only help you if you gonna help me win. I don't have a brother, but my homies like my kin. Hey, let's go bicycle with my bitch. Hopping inside the box, squad looking all so lit. Playing, do the talking, I got it. Scan the feel, I'm a ball hog. Talking both sides, boy, I spot him, I got it. Stuff like this isn't easy, but I sure make it look easy. Uh, I'm Mario, do Luigi. Start with else, I start with the money, yeah. Lost some people in my life, cause they acted like their shoe size. Uh, that's no surprise upon my eyes. Sneak this in, ain't really a disguise. People trying to steal my shine. shine. Thought they was looking out. Feeling oh. entitled to my success. Don't be around those boys like a school shooter. Don't go. Never thought this would be. No. Unfortunately, I was wrong, kind of inspired me to write songs It really shows how a trust issue scar But now I'm going far, straight up out of the gym I raise the bar, I've been rapping as if there's no tomorrow Keep on eating my plate floor, I cannot start As real as it gets, and that's a fact Some people don't know how to act I ain't calling them Jennifer Lawrence or anything like that I leave and hold it back, that's because I've been Getting through pain, getting untamed Getting familiar with ways to run it up Go. No one's the same, cause you like me Up in the score, it's not enough Go. Corporate Kai, show no mercy, mercy. Moving fast like I'm Percy Team go insane, making the plays Double it down when you come plus Okay, now let's change the context Switch. Listen up and being honest I done had a good childhood, good parents With good achievements that I'm proud of right? Trouble fitting in the crowd, crowd. Anti-social hitting out Whatever nonsense the haters feed me I ignore that all and block it out Still with red spots, that is from Fargo Black and white spots, that's Winnie Harlow Who are those people following us? Those are the ops behind the car, bro Want me to curse? Ain't gonna happen Run it yourself? Go get your lappy You will not see me wear any hats Because I am not with all the caps Damn, couple minutes after couple minutes Using mathematics yeah, it's common sense, moving differently from the masses in People saying I'm a new testament Test, Keep test. the ego down below the table, man That only weakens you if you really show it really? Mrs. Puff, yeah, do not blow no. it Got your chance? Well, time to show it Yeah, uh, time to show it Set the tone out, already know it In my bag, like all the fries at the bottom I stay determined till the grind is over uh, yeah, which is never Walk in the studio, need a sweater, need a sweater. On your block, that's a medium cheddar To tell you all, once again, that I keep on Getting through pain, getting untamed Getting familiar with ways to run it up Go. No one's the same, cause you like me Up in the store, it's not enough Corporate Kai, show no mercy Moving fast like I'm person Team going insane, making the plays Double it down, we ain't calling bluffs <laughs> 